Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to FA Cup 1 predictions. Are any, all the teams in the FA Cup from the first round, from obviously going through the latter stages of when the Premier League and Championship clubs come in, are all chasing the Jews to play at this magnificent ground behind me. Um, guys, you know what I'm trying to do, I'll try to get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. The best way you can help me do that is by sharing my videos and letting people know about my channel and let's see if we can do that together. Um, and there will be a special video once that goal is reached. Um, so, guys, anyway, you know what I do, so you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Sunderland versus Gillingham. Both League One clubs um, going up. Both very different um, sides of the table. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Sunderland win. My next one is at Cuckoo Stanley versus Crew Alexander. Crew are having... An okay season. Um, Aquinton are very much on the wrong end of the table um, as far as things go. Um, but, but as far as this one goes, I'm expected to go into a replay and I'm expected to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Doncaster. Um, Wimbledon. You know, are you know very much at the wrong end of the table again. Um, Doncaster are you know doing okay um, in the league, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a three-three scoreline for that one. I think that's the highest scoreline I've gone with through all my predictions. Um, my next one is Blackpool versus Morecambe. Um, Blackpool are doing okay in League One. They are um, hopefully not too far away from the Championship um, return. Um, obviously, it's a long season in League One and Two anyway. But at this present stage, Blackpool are doing too badly um, as far as things go. Morecambe, you know, are yet again sitting at the wrong end of the table. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Blackpool win. My next one is Bolton Wanderers versus Plymouth Argyle. Um, Bolton just picked up their first fixture in, in the league um, ever since coming out. I did go with administration, but we're very close. We've gone into that. And um, how much I would like to see Bolton survive in League One um, and hopefully start pushing for promotion next season. Um, I think it's wrong with clubs going down that way. Um, Plymouth, um, I know their game got postponed due to uh, safety grounds. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they um, the ground... Something happened with the strong wings that we've been having. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Bolton win. My next one is Cambridge versus Exeter. Exeter have had a few dodgy games um, in the previous weeks in the league. Cambridge have just been doing their thing um, very much, you know. Causing the one or two surprises, um, you know, as far as the league goes. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm expecting another replay and I'm expecting a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Cheltenham versus Swindon Town. Um, Cheltenham are, you know, pushing towards promotion. Um, Swindon Town, we, we're not quite at the wrong end of the table, but we are looking that way. Um, 
but you know as I said it's a long season it will take time um, but you have got to start picking up points this side of Christmas I think if you start doing it next side of Christmas you are running a risk um, but as far as this result goes I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one My next one is um, Colchester versus Coventry. Um, you know, Coventry, considering they've been made homeless, um, you know, playing at St Andrews, Colchester yet yeah, again at the wrong end of the table. Um, but you know, you've got to, um, you know, some teams have got to go down, <laughs> unfortunately. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Coventry City win. My next one is Crawley Town versus Scunthorpe. Crawley Town, um, you know, I think they're down the, near the bottom of League One. Um, but so has Scunthorpe. Um, you know, they're both sitting at the end of the table. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Crawley Town win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Newport County. Newport doing their thing. Um, I can't underestimate Newport whatsoever how dangerous they are. Um, I wish I could say the same for Grimsby, but, uh, you know, I don't know what Newport secret is, because I always look at them in League 2 thinking they're going to be pushing for promotion. Oh no, I've just made you yawn. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 now Newport County win. My next one is Itridge Town versus Lincoln. Very much Itridge Town expected to get promoted, in my opinion. Lincoln, since losing their managers, they seem to, I don't know, go through, I can't say dodgy spell, but, you know, struggle to find their feet again. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Maidenhead versus Rotherham. Um, you know, Rotherham in the fact of you know, how I keep going to mitigate from the championship and you know, surviving in League One surprises me. Um, I think Rotherham you know, if I do go back up to the championship, should start looking. I try and stay in the championship, um, but don't move your expectations too highly. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Wolverine win. My next one is Maidenstone versus Torquay United. Um, I'm just going to give you the result for this one, and I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one, expecting another replay. Um, my next one is Salford City versus Burton Albion. Salford City, um, they have been causing one or two shocks. Burton Albion are doing okay in League One. Yet again, another club that goes up to the championship and struggles to survive in the championship. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Burton Albion win. My next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Bra uh, Bradford. You know, both teams are, you know, I think what Bradford fans have been saying to me, um, they're below expectations. Um, but it, as I said, it's a long season. So as far as this result goes, I'm expecting another replay, and I've gone for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Stevenage versus Peaceborough. Um, Peaceborough, 
Well, mine's probably the strongest team going into this game. Um, I know Steve Lynch have done the one or two upsets in the league. I know I just made you yawn again. I do apologise. Uh, um, but, you know, Steven and Chubb be causing one or two upsets. But as far as this game goes, I'm not expecting an upset. And I'll go for a 2 0 Peterborough win. My next one is Tramiart versus Wickham Wanderers. Um, far as this result, you know, I'm expecting. Because obviously Wickham are looking on promotion, Tramia are looking on survival. So as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. And yet again, expecting another replay. My next one is Yeovil Town versus Hartlepool. Just going to give you the result for this one. And I'll go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. And expecting another replay. Um... My next one is Dover Athletic versus Southend United. Um, you know, Southend looking at the wrong end of the table. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Southend win. My next one is Byron, Byron sorry for mispronouncing your team name, um, versus Fleetwood Town. Um, as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Fleetwood Town win. My last one for this week is Bristol City, uh, Bristol Rovers. Sorry, nearly done it again. I do apologise. Versus Bromley. As far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, sorry if I missed your team out this week, predictions. Um, I choose 21 at random. Um, hopefully in round two if you get there. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do. So a big fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao now.